Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be taking down the compound. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put a level in. I totally spaced on the last video putting a level in. Surprise, surprise. We're going to put it straight into toughness. And then the next level that we're going to put in is going to be science. Let's go ahead and talk to Swanson over here. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up-and-comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a doc that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deza calls it anyway. There's a small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? I'm new to the area. What do you mean about undesirables? But you don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Since. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. All right? Do I really have to take the test? Hey, rules are rules. You ready? Sure. Good. Take a seat, and we can begin. So let's begin. There ain't no wrong answers. You are approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I lead the boy to safety, then turn him over to someone in charge. Very curious. Congratulations! Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next question. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I'd give her whatever she wants to spare his life. Hmm. Typical Class B. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I'd grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you'd do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh, no. <laughs> You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? I dose myself with anti-mutagen agent. Ignoring possible. Yes. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. Last question. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and... I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Paranoia started to fall like rain. This place would need to build an ark. 
By the way, uh, for those of you that don't know, the safe test is from Fallout 3. It's Welcome actually called the, the GOAT, originally. Just a cool little Easter egg. Let's go talk to Deezer. The caravan came a few days back. Worked for old man Stockton. You saw them, right? I Get it. your lemonade I here! We get a lot of traffic. Hey, Deezer. 93% of all visitors prefer Deezer's lemonade. What's in the lemonade? Deezer's lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments. All in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy. Or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. I'll take some. Enjoy! Very suspicious with the lemonade. You from around here? God, I hope not. I've had enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? A caravan? What are you talking about? I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre. And I intend to make good on my contract. If I help you, I want something up front. If I have your word, you'll help. I'll chip in 50 caps now. That's above and beyond the deal. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion. So, uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of caps. Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. We're gonna go into our pit boy turn on the human error and we're going to turn off this radio real quick let's head outside covenant we're going to hang a right heading north and then we're going to hang another right Head in east. And the caravan is just over here. We're gonna loot it all up. The caravan was hit awfully close to Covenant, all right. Find anything useful on him? Grab all of this stuff here. And then grab the Deezer's Lemonade. Deezer's Lemonade, huh? The caravan definitely stopped in Covenant. Now we're going to continue over here. We're going to take a right. We're going to head over to a spot you can turn into a settlement. You're going to have to take out some blood bugs to be able to do so. Be ready for a fight. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Nice shot. That blood bug. Up top are some more blood bugs. Damn. That was just uh, nasty insect. Over here's another radio we can go ahead and turn off. You can pick up this note if you want. It just tells a little bit of a backstory on this settlement. We're going to lockpick both of these uh, chests. Got it. 
Play your cards right, and we stand in Yes. A whole lot of money. Nothing really else in here. You can come right over here and activate this settlement if you want. I'm not going to because I'm not going to turn it into a settlement. We're going to head south. This is going to take us onto the road that we took to Covenant in the last video. We're going to take a right. Head northwest. Keep following this road down. We're going to run straight into Covenant. We can put our gun away. Let's talk to Penny Fitzgerald. Hey, the, uh, Enjoy your stay. You have anything for the pain? I hope Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. If you ask me, I think he takes his job too seriously. As as but mess, welcome. Everyone around here understand. calls me Mrs. Fitzgerald. But you, cutie, can call me Penny. Off you go then. Nice Thanks. to meet a friendly face. You're in luck then. Covenant is the friendliest place in the whole Commonwealth. You'll see. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. Definitely. He has such an attitude. I know! He's so smug. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the Commonwealth a better, safer place. Ugh. He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than a man like him. Hmm. You know, honey, I... I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. We're going to talk to her again. We're going to uh, uh, barter with her. She has two legendary... Uh, items that we want one is a shotgun one is a helmet but because covenant is going to become hostile after Enjoy we do this quest stay. we need to get this stuff now hey penny you here to shop if not i'm sure you've got places to go and all <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed your stay let me see what you got you won't find better quality anywhere okay i went ahead and bought justice which is a legendary shotgun. And I also went ahead and bought the Destroyer's Helmet, which we can put on now. It's actually going to uh, give us plus one to charisma and intelligence. Now, I'm probably not going to keep it on, but I'll show everybody what the combat helmet looks like for a little bit. Then we're going to switch back to the Minutemen hat because I, I really do like that hat. Now we're going to go in this house to hack a terminal. Busted again? It's the third radio this month. Ted better get on this pronto. Wait for Brian Fitzgerald to leave. And then we're going to hack this terminal. That's some... So we want to look at the Fisherman Report Draft. It's going to update our quest. Oh, we don't need to sneak. Let's talk to Honest Dan. 
I hate this place. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. One hundred caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend any time. Give me the caps and I'll drop the whole thing. Well, I was hoping for a fight, but I wouldn't mind walking away with the caps instead. Here you go. Come back any time. So we're not going to really drop the whole thing. We're going to go to the compound and take everybody out there because, in my humble opinion, Covenant is pretty evil. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. We're going to take a left right here at the intersection. We were over here much earlier into the walkthrough. This is where we tried to save that scavenger or settler, whatever they were, over at the junkyard here from the mole rats. They ran away like a baby back bitch. Just keep following this road until we get to Mystic Pines, which is right up there. We're going to cut off to the left before we get up to Mystic Pines. Right here. Follow this makeshift trail on down. I kill for a drink. Think of it, I have. Over there, you can see the fishermen that they were talking about in the terminal. We're going to go to the middle pipe, put on some radix. We're going to hop down, and then we're going to go inside the compound. Turn on our pit boy lamp. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? Who are you? I'm asking the questions. Why are you here? I'm here to rescue the survivors from Stockton's caravan. I can't let you do that. This ain't personal. Hey. I got him! <coughs> That's how we do things around here. By the way, the you compound armor some here... Sort of sensor. Is unique more where they to the compound. It does not spawn on any other settlers or enemies. So if you think it looks cool, pick it up now, or else you're not going to be able to pick it up anywhere else. Oh, we 
You've got to see what's inside this place. Ah! Ah! No sign of the caravan yet. They've got to be holding them someplace. What the hell are they doing here anyway? Get out of my way, honest ant. Oh my god. Everybody's got to get in the way. Go ahead and listen to this hollow tape. Where am I? Shh, no, no, no. How are the subject vitals? It's a little unsteady, but within. Who, who are you? What? What? Oh! Son of a bitch! Do that! Oh! I will only say this once. Speak only when spoken to. Please continue. The subject is ready for baseline testing. Subject, answer the questions quickly and with what first comes to mind. You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Is that... that safe test... Oh! Answer the question. I, I I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I ignore him. Ignore him, you say? Oh, fascinating. Let's continue forward. Looks like they repurposed some old world sewers. I don't like the sight lines here. Plenty of opportunities for an ambush. What? Find him. Try to kill as many guards as you can now. The missions must be protected. Safety off. I think we have company. You, you killed him. Shh. I swear I heard something. Protect the doctor at all costs. Find him. Find him. Pretty sure we're not alone. I know I see one more up here. There they are. They're hiding behind pipes. The intruder must be eliminated. Now that's what I call a confirmed kill. Let's go ahead and grab the fusion core right here. Some sort of bridge. Must be another way around. Gonna open up this door. So they gather people up, torture them, and all for the safe test? The sick bastards need to be put down. Cell's empty. Damn it. Please. I got a kid. I... Do you want another treatment? Whoever no. this belongs to needs to find themselves a new hobby. So, again, congratulations, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? I've already told you. Catcher! Again, which position? Catcher, right? Be the catcher. Why? Hey, the mission. Ah! Ah! I, I don't know that... They got the, the funny, the funny helmets. I saw a picture when I was a kid. Hmm. Do synths even know the well, rules of baseball? We're not going to need that stuff anymore. No, please. I'm not. Okay. Just let me. No. Oh! Just answer the questions and only the questions. Congratulations, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Catcher. Meeting room. Great. They got to have more holding cells somewhere. I feel it in my gut. Stockton's people were here. Confidence on subject 12 is high. We'll know for certain post-mortem. And any progress on question 3? None. The EKG shows nothing unexpected. The answers are too damn predictable. 
You've made your opinions quite clear on the value of question three. Removing it could invalidate all the data we've accumulated to date. Moving on, question four. The data on this is fascinating. Why does baseball have the highest degree of correlation? Even more than question eight. Our methodology was exhaustive. Subject 12's answers in regards to baseball in his childhood were particularly fascinating. See here and here. I wonder, do they play baseball in the Institute? Or is there some sort of defect in their programming? We need another failure to explore this further. We can do nothing more with Subject 12 except final processing. I'll let the reclamation team know. If you want some more lore on the compound, you can read that terminal. Got a clearing up ahead. I got your six. Who knows where more of the bastards will pop up. Compound is just absolutely evil. Just torturing people for no reason. I mean, not no reason. I know that they're trying to find sense, but it's pretty horrific on the way that they're doing it. Press that button. We can now take a shortcut if we need to. Hmm. Come over here, we'll unchain that. That'll be our way out. Let's go talk to Dr. Rosalind Chambers. Hi. And here you are. My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. I'll give you a fair hearing. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? Believe me, I've been there, but I haven't resorted to torturing innocents. Casualties are inevitable. It may not look like it, but we're at war. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? You can't seriously want to kill all the synths. We most certainly do, but we have to find them first. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton Synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me. I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. 
we're going to have a seriously deadly problem. <laughs> the way he says that is ridiculous. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it. Even if I have to kill you to do it. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Come on, Doc. Think what you're up against. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. You should have offered more, lady. Oh well. Too late. Then you'll just have to kill me. Does that work? Find anything useful on him? We're gonna come over here. Grab this cap stash, loot all of this stuff. There has to be something worth a few caps in here. And then we're gonna come up here and talk to Stockton's daughter. Excuse me. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. It's all right. You're safe now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. I believe you. I just want this nightmare to end. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Just let me out. Please. She actually is a synth, but she doesn't know it. We're going to go into this terminal. We're going to unlock cell one. If you decide to lockpick those cells, the one that she's in is trapped and it will kill her if you lockpick it. But if you unlock it from the terminal here, she won't die. Oh, thank goodness. I'm free. I'm never ever coming back here. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. I did more than half the work on this job. My share should reflect that. There's some truth to that. 60-40 work for you? 60-40? Really? Try 90-10. 90-10? Is that a joke? I risked my life, same as you. 70-30 is my final offer. Without me, you'd be dead. Maybe I should ask for it all. Fine. I'll give you 90-10. But if you want the other 10%, you better be prepared to fight for it. And that concludes Human Error. I don't know why McCready doesn't like us taking her offer but wants us to save Amelia. Doesn't really make sense. Let's exit out of the compound. Hey, Dan. Ugh, I hate that. So annoying. So if an NPC goes through a door before you, then it'll prevent you from going through that door for a minute. Take some Radix. And we're going to swim up here. Get up on the bank so we can stop taking some radiation damage. This is just where we entered the compound. We're going to backtrack just a little bit. Mystic Pines is right there.
Just keep following the road. We're going to head back towards Covenant, but we're not going to go to Covenant. What the? If you do decide to go into Covenant, everybody is going to be hostile. You're going to have to kill them. But on the other hand, if you do kill everybody, then you can turn it into a settlement as well. And it makes for a really cool settlement. It's already got a wall around it. It's already got houses. Pretty much you just have to put some beds down and decorate it. And you got a really cool settlement. So if you want to make Covenant yours, just take a right, go kill everybody over there, and go interact with the workbench. We're going to head east here. going to crouch take care of this blood bug you hear that There's a lot of blood that, bugs. Right? Be super careful. We can hop down right here. We have Margaret's body. We can loot her and then we can go inside this sewer tunnel. Frag him! Impressed yet? Feeling eyes on my back. There's one more over here. Flew off. Oh, it's way over there trying to fly away. We'll disarm that frag mine. Stock up another kill for me. Then we can come over here. Absolutely terrible. We're going to go in and listen to the pledges hollow tape. Grab this fusion core. And then we're going to hack this terminal and open up this door. Go ahead and loot everything. And then we can head out of the sewer drainage. We're going to head south here.
Take a right. Sounds like a radiation storm is about to happen. Take some Radex. Just keep heading north. Until we get to this stop sign, we're going to hang a right. We're going to make a quick pit stop to grab a magazine. Be really careful, there is a super mutant suicider over here. He is right there. Turn on our pit boy and go in the Manford Memorial Hospital. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna take this guy out. We'll probably turn our pit boy light off. It's pretty bright in here. We'll go up top. Then we'll hang a left around here. And we're going to lockpick this door right here. Nice. And then let's stand up for a second. Hell yeah. Grab ourselves a Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Love this cover too. There's so many magazines that have some awesome covers. And this is just another one that has an off awesome cover. I used to collect comics like that when I was a kid. You can't hide forever! Top over the railing. Safety off. Over Do there, it! Get scream! Up. Scream for mercy! I hear something! <laughs> Cover! Ah. Let's go outside. Just making sure they didn't follow us outside. We're going to head east. And then right here in the intersection, we're going to take a left. And there should be some synths. I guess just one. Normally there's... Hello. I was going to say, normally there's two. Just gonna loot real quick. All right, and then we are gonna come right here, and we are gonna end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also. If you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.